What's up YouTube, welcome back to another video. And I know I haven't been putting out too many videos, just you know, been busy lately and a bunch of L's and all that typical, you know, when you're trying to cop some sneakers, but um I did cop the latest released Oreo fives or midnight fives, whichever you want to call it. I was able to pick up two pairs, shout out this sporting girls for doing their wristband raffle. So we'll get right into it. So you can see um standard Jordan 5 box but the actual silhouette of the box is a bit different we have black and white speckles all over to the bottom of the box um personally i do like them um uh, but i'm not against you know the standard Jordan 5 Jordan 4 Jordan 6 boxes but it's something different especially with the price points they keep getting higher and higher throughout the years so a unique box with a unique sneaker is something appealing to me i'm not sure about anybody else you can see there's like a green little posted slip there like I said, I got it from Dick Sporting Goods, so they made sure I had reserved two pairs. Uh, throughout the video, I'll show you my personal pair. I actually tried it on just to see how it is. We'll get right into it. You know, standard speckle paper now, regards of the Jordan. Not too bad, not too crazy. I really wish they had that Jordan 5 black tissue paper. It would make it seem a bit better just because the shoe is majority black. So, we we'll go right into it. There's the Oreo 5s crazy crazy colorway in my opinion so now personally first impressions um overall i was just you know excited against sneakers a sneaker that i couldn't get in high school and now i'm fortunate enough to get a pair two pairs actually um this is actually the desktop pair uh, i don't think this is a sneaker i would look to flip just because you know it's a colorway classic colorway black and white can't go wrong with that you can wear that with almost anything and the winter season is coming so that would be great on most fits so i'll keep that in mind as you can see i think that really stands out to me is that new box suede honestly when it comes to material wise probably one of the worst materials i've felt in hand um yeah it's smooth but it can get a bit ashy um the new bug is really 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 stiff um i'll show you throughout the video um on my personal pair that I tried it on and even with the me trying it on on foot it already has so much stress on the heel and all that you know poor material on this Jordan could have put something a bit better um, seeing creases on a sneaker on a try on is really really tough so I think I got two pairs I'll show you the inner lining you know nothing too crazy it's like I said classic silhouette classic colorway can't really go wrong with these if you were able to pick up a pair i know a lot of people did because they're basically grs but great pickup and now i'll say that as not to discourage you if you don't have a pair and you're looking to buy a pair i'm pretty sure there's gonna be a bunch of leftovers um i actually won a pair through full locker but i didn't get any notification and i passed the due date to confirm so that was an l on that so but besides the material like i said it's a classic silhouette classic colorway if you do pick it up i as a personal pair i don't think you will go wrong but when it comes to reselling maybe in the long run it might shoot up but to me this is not one of those pairs i just buy to resell like i said i couldn't get this when i was in high school so for me to get two pairs they're both gonna stay in my collection for a really 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 long time so now in the dick sporting goods that was actually at that's nearest to me um they really had a lot of pairs um not really sure if they were all reserved but they when i went to go pick up my pairs um i'll make sure to put in a screenshot you know somewhere in the video but they had so many pairs i was really really shocked i didn't expect this sporting goods to have this many pairs and here are the screenshots you can see they had a bunch of bunch of pairs multiple sizes as you can see i did pick up two like i said and the next screenshot will have a better view of the whole scenery of the sneakers so they had a bunch of pairs to my surprise so now it's sunday day after release um if you have a local this sporting goods you might just want to call or just slide by and say if you have any leftover pairs uh, as you can see in the video i'm showing you my personal pair uh you can obviously tell it's tried on and i'll show you you can see in um, right on the upper all the stress marks and all that on the sneaker just because i tried it on to me it just you know indicates poor quality um jumpman could have done way way better with this sneaker especially you know waiting after so many years for this colorway to release uh black and white colorway can't really go wrong with that like i said throughout the video and overall aside from the material 
um, gray sneaker. I don't regret buying both pairs. Um, if they do shoot up in price, who knows? Maybe I sell a second pair, but most likely not. Like I said, these are two personal pairs. I will have them in the collection for a really, really long time. And if you, like I said earlier, if you did weren't able to cap a couple pair, you might want to slide through your Dick Sporting Goods, see if they have some leftovers. Maybe someone didn't pick up their pair and might be your size, call, or slide by, and you know, maybe you can get a pair for retail. Who knows? Now, I don't want to speak down on this sneaker. Um, one thing I will show you is uh, the icy blue on the bottom is really, 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 really good. Um, another selling point for me, I know when this sneaker initially came out, I think it was a more of a not icy blue, but not, you know, piss yellow, that in between, off white, off so. But now, you know, that icy blue, really, really a selling point to me. Anything icy blue, well, un unless it's not too icy blue, but this icy blue right here stands out just because of the black upper, white midsole, the white speckles throughout the midsole, you know, so blue also icy blue also it's always a great selling point to me can't really go wrong with that and aside from that not a bad sneaker you know can't really go wrong with this like i said uh, aside from the poor material can't really go wrong with it now like i said if you weren't able to cop, cop this sneaker you know don't be in a rush to um i wouldn't want you to pay any of these stock eggs gold prices just wait they will restock. I see sneakers usually has this, you know, little second chance thing. Most likely than not, that will be on there maybe a couple weeks down the road, maybe a couple months down the road. So, you know, don't rush. Like I said, they are a GR. Most likely, if you have a local mall, um, slide through those stores. They might have a couple pairs. If not your size, you can get it and maybe size swap somewhere else. Keep that in mind. Just don't pay these stock ice prices. Way overpriced, but who knows? Maybe you can get them for retail. So now it comes to the resale value on StockX. Like I said, don't pay these prices. Just wait. You can get them for retail. Um, for a size 10, the lowest ass is 224. Highest bid is 217. And the last sale was 218. So nothing you know, crazy overpriced. After the fees, it's probably more closer to like 260. But like I said, nothing too crazy. And like always, like an every review, every unboxing, I will give you some closer shots just in case I forgot to mention anything. Um, as you can see, retail 190. That box is really, really good. It's uh, you know, it's something that I improve on. Nothing too crazy. I'll give you some better shots of the sneaker, like I said. As you can see, some areas of the sneaker look a bit ashy. It's you know the poor material on this sneaker right here. Jumpman just did a disservice on the sneaker, um, having such a great silhouette, such a great colorway, just to put this you know bad material on it, this crappy material on it, it is, you know, a bit disheartening, but can't really ask for anything, we ask for good sneakers, we get good sneakers, and sometimes, you know, we don't really get good quality, um, aside from that, like I said, great colorway, great sneaker, if you are unable to cop, just hold on for a little bit, I know it's tough not getting sneakers, just hold off, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.